Welcome to the fascinating world of TMT bars making process. In this short video, we'll take you on an exhilarating journey through the various stages involved in creating the high quality construction grade steel that builds our world. Let's dive in. The journey begins at our very own iron ore mine in Khanban, Orissa where the ore is blasted and crushed into differently sized particles. The high grade lumps can be directly used in the steel making process at our plants in Orissa while the high grade and low grade fines are beneficiated and shaped into high grade low impurity pellets. The high grade pellets along with the naturally available lumps from the mines can be charged into the blast furnace and DRI kiln at three of our plants in Orissa where our steel making process begins. The reduction process begins at the blast furnace in Rugudi plant where iron ore and coking coal are combined to produce pig iron, the first step towards creating TMT bars. The pig iron then meets direct reduced iron DRI, or sponge iron produced through the reduction of iron ore using a reducing gas and elemental carbon from non-coking coal. Our journey continues to the steel melting shop, where the pig iron and sponge iron undergo further refining. Inside the induction furnace, electrical energy is used to further reduce and melt the sponge along with the pig iron and any high-grade scrap that is available for recycling, ensuring the steel's quality and purity. Steel melting using an induction furnace is an energy-intensive job. We at Sri Metallics generate our own electricity in Lordapada, Odisha using the environmental-friendly waste heat recovery process which cleans the waste gases while simultaneously generating captive electricity. The waste heat is a byproduct of the reduction process that happens at the DRI kiln and the blast furnace. Now going back to the steel melting shop where molten iron from the induction furnace is moved to the ladle refining furnace for additional refinement by removing sulfur and phosphorus from the iron. Now, let's witness the magic of the continuous casting machine, where the refined and modified steel is cast into molds to create solid shapes. The molten steel flows into the mold, where it takes the form of steel billets. The steel billets are then sent to the rolling mill using a hot online rolling process, the heart of the TMT bar making process. In the rolling mill, the steel billets go through roughing, intermediate, and continuous stands, where they are shaped, sized, branded, and transformed into TMT bars. Let's now delve into the critical quenching process, which sets our TMT bars apart. We employ the German patented Thermax cooling process, a state-of-the-art method that enhances the microstructure of TMT bars. During Thermax quenching, the TMT bars undergo rapid cooling, resulting in a unique microstructure. The process forms a tough outer layer called martensite, which provides excellent hardness, while the inner core remains ductile and flexible due to binite formation. This combination of martensite and binite gives TMT bars their exceptional properties. Now the TMT bars are shaped according to the requirements and are ready to move to the stock and dispatch yard, where they are stored before distribution. And there you have it, the incredible journey of TMT bar production at Sri Metalix, from raw materials to high-quality construction-grade steel that forms the backbone of our modern infrastructure. Thank you for embarking on this thrilling tour and exploring the vertically integrated journey of steel production, from the mine to the mill.